all right let's talk about the linux experience for developers and we all know it's not a uh, a very good out of the box experience and when when i say very good i don't mean it's a bad experience i just mean it might take a lot of time uh, for somebody to reach a point when they're really happy with where things are and a lot of people don't want to invest that kind of time and uh, everybody has had their kind of fair share of horror stories uh, for example they've installed linux once and the graphic card didn't pick up or the screen brightness control didn't really work well for them so a lot of those kind of things have uh, steered people away as especially developers even though most of the work uh, when it comes to actually developing and actually running on web servers for example that's that's all linux right and they need to in one or the other sense even if they're using windows or mac they end up using like in windows they end up using wsl so it's extremely important for uh, developers to understand linux but it's it's just not a very good startup experience for them and that's why they steer away and if you talk to a lot of developers the key thing that they say is we use macbook because it works out of the box it works smoothly it just works and actually linux just works as well and uh, of course even arch can work and even arch is is pretty stable if you know what you're doing but it, the point is if you know what you're doing and that's that's one of the time investments that a lot of people aren't ready to make especially when they have job personal life and all of those kind of things which is where uh, a setup like this actually comes into play now i am uh, i'm i'm using this one for primarily for uh, machine learning tasks so a lot of Jupyter stuff, but uh, this is a very developer-centric setup, and this comes from Omaku. Just let me um, let me kind of move to the other desktop and show you. Uh, so this is a really good setup in my opinion, and I'll just quickly show you the doc, how the doc looks. Um, all of the shortcuts are kind of auto configured. You've got Lacrity along with Zelige, NeoVim. You've got your VS Code, and all of these are by the way auto installed just based on one script. Like Obsidian, WhatsApp, all of these, Docker, etc. Everything is installed just from a single command along with OBS Studio, by the way. Um, so I, if I just go with Alt 1, uh, it opens up my first item in, uh, in my menu. I go Alt 2, it will open up uh, Alacrity in this case right and uh, then i go super right i i this is this is not a tiling manager this is not a window manager uh, or rather this is not a window manager um, but the tiling is in place so i think that works really really well when it comes to something like this and uh, you've got your uh, kind of lazy vim here um, that works pretty well and as as a dev even when you're installing it just asks you uh, about kind of what languages you want to work with, uh, what are different things that you want to install. Uh, he's so by the way, the creator of Omakub is the is the creator of Ruby and Rails. And this is an open source uh, item. So kind of just go go to GitHub and, and have a look at the code as well. Just this one single command and it gets up gets a complete installer uh, set up in your place now for example if you're working with something that wasn't in his list so he's got like python javascript uh, java ruby rust elixir even so if you aren't working with something like that uh, you can just kind of work with let's say i go with for uh, python and uh, whatever items I need, I can, it's, it's lazy vim, so I can just use that, or I can just go with the, uh, kind of the VS code route. Now, here is how, uh, this whole thing looks. This is your kind of after installation Omakub, and this is pretty cool in the sense that I can still go to install. It's a, it's a CLI installer, right? I can still go to install. I can choose to install Olama, OBS, Minecraft, all of those things. Um, but then I can add more languages. So, I, the whole point is that I can uh, that I can actually go ahead and install one of these languages whenever I want, or I can add additional stuff. But this is a very uh, installer, uh, a very simple installer, which is uh, extremely developer friendly. And then he he's got like a few uh, different themes as well. Like there's there's Tokyo Night, which all automatically takes care of uh, your browser, your background, your uh, uh, your terminal all of all of those things if you actually change the theme so there's a script running in the background that takes care of a lot of these things i think this is a good start to how uh, to how to get into linux and once you are in you can start working on um, 
you can start working on different things uh, that that you need in your system because this is again as he says uh, this is a, a very opinionated uh, setup in 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 this sense but then the good thing with this is it's a very good start in my opinion and this is something that makes it a little bit easier this can take away potentially like a couple of hours uh, out of a developer's time when when they're moving into linux and i think that's a very good advantage and, and and very good potential and it's it's a way to get more people into linux and we need more softwares like this we need more uh we need more programs like this that make it relatively easier for people who haven't tried linux to move into linux that's where the good experience starts and it's it's not just about me loving open source for example this pc that i'm running this linux on it's a very very good pc um 3060 ti it's a ryzen 9 uh, older generation though but it's a ryzen 9 still if i run windows on this pc i don't think i can last longer for than like a year year and a half especially with my workloads uh, especially deep learning machine learning workloads uh, and and the system getting bloated and ads and all of those kind of things but if i'm running linux i think there's a really good like easily four years left um in in the system i might need to change the graphic card at one uh, or the other point depending on my kind of deep learning uh, or local deep learning workloads but other than that i won't need to experiment with ram i won't need to experiment with uh, with my let's say processor or anything of that sorts this this is going to be just fine for many many years to come and i think that's a that's one of the big big things that just and by the way, I'm not just talking about weird performance or bad performance uh, based for years. This is going to run like crazy. This is going to be like running lightning fast for next four or five years. I, I, I don't see any issues with that just because of the fact that I'm running on Linux. I think that makes a huge difference. So you should definitely, in my opinion, check out Omakube if you haven't already. Uh, and especially if you're running kind of a new new Linux installation. And if you want to get into Linux, I think this is a very good good start. Omakub.org is, um, is, is the tool here. And all by the way, all the key bindings, everything is set up. He's got a proper manual, um, which which will show you all of um, all of your uh, hotkeys, etc. These got like a pretty good list of hotkeys, etc. A lot of these things are set up. And the good thing about Linux is you can modify all of these because this works for uh, David Heinemeyer Hansen. It might not work for you or me. And if it doesn't, we can just simply change it. And that's the good thing about all of this. So I think this this uh, changes how, how we do things. I hope uh, you like the video. Check it out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think uh, we really need to bring more people into Linux?